Hey guys, what's up? Yo Kurama here and I'm here today to bring you guys another first impression and this one is going to be on Blade and Soul. Now straight off before even checking out this anime, I didn't really read anything about it. I didn't really need to, I felt, to read anything about it. I just looked at the picture and judging from the picture, this looks like another type of Queen's Blade type anime or like Ikitosin type anime. So straight off, I just judged it in that way and boy was I wrong. Yes, it does have a lot of female characters and they are very sexualized, but when it comes to the story and just the whole atmosphere and feel of this series, it's on a much different level compared to those other series I've just mentioned. And that being the case, I pretty much enjoy this anime much more than I probably should have because it completely blew me away with the expectations that I had coming into it. This is actually an adaptation of of a Korean MMORPG, so it doesn't have any other past reference material to be adapted from. Not really sure how the story in the MMORPG works. Is there an actual story or is this completely made up of characters that are in the game? But that's not important because from the first episode, it was, it was pretty good. Now, it wasn't the greatest thing since the story is pretty much about a very quiet woman who is an assassin that is being blamed for killing her master and now this dictatorship organization is after her along with trying to buy out or take over all the villages for their own greedy need but really it's somebody else who killed the master and she's trying to find that person for revenge and she meets a few other women on her journey it's, it's kind of like the typical type of story that you'd expect for something like this but like I said it had a charm it had an atmosphere that just kind of surprised surprised me that I, it came out of nowhere. I did not expect it. So that's why my enjoyment of this was much higher than it should have been. So I honestly can't even say that this is a good one. Check it out, guys, because I might have just been wearing some cloudy glasses when I was watching this because of how unexpected it was for me. But I am really looking forward to episode two and just continuing on with this series. So I pretty much it doesn't get like any worse or just goes in completely weird directions later on in the series. I think I'm gonna enjoy this one. So yeah guys, let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought of Blade and Soul. Do you guys agree or disagree with anything that I had to say in this video or maybe you want to add something that I didn't? Always looking forward to reading those comments. Make sure you guys like this video because it helps out a lot and I very much appreciate it. And also subscribe to the channel if you guys like these sort of first impressions, final impressions, anime news, anime PV impressions and all that kind of good stuff. I'm Yokurama and baby I'm out. Peace!